And, and if that's the case, and I guess I don't want to get too hypothetical here, but if that's the case, that this 500-page report uh, is, is pretty damning to these individuals, these top FBI officials, what kind of accountability can we expect to see? Because I think a lot of the American people are worried that it's going to be the same cursory slap on the wrist that we see politicians receive so often and that nothing yes. real is going to happen. Right. The American people are rightly concerned about this now double standard, this, the, these two standards. One set of rules for you and I and regular folks, but a different set if you're part of the politically connected class. If your name is Clinton, Comey, Lynch, Lerner, you get a different set of rules. That's not supposed to be how it works, so they should be rightfully concerned. I will say this. There is a criminal referral for uh, uh, out now for Andy McCabe, so maybe there will be some kind of prosecution. You know that he's asked for immunity when he comes to testify in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee. So we'll see what happens. What we need is all the information, all the facts, and then once this report comes out, maybe you will see a uh, 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 additional action from the part of the Justice Department. I don't know. We'll see. Right. And, and, it's why and, we have called, though, Liz, it, no, it's why we have ahead. called for a second special counsel so that you have somebody, because the idea is can the FBI really investigate themselves? Can the DOJ really investigate themselves? You have Mr. Horowitz's report, but he can't prosecute. So let's take this report. If we had a second special counsel, like many of us has called for now for months, we just did a resolution two weeks ago that was introduced in the House by Mr. Zeldin. If we could get that and you have some second special counsel who could focus on this, then maybe you would actually hold people accountable who were engaged in wrongdoing. Right. Well, let me ask you this. I, I agree with you. There's a lot that needs to be investigated. I sit here as one of the self-described skeptics of special counsels because I've seen them abuse their authority and not have the proper, I guess, parameters for power here. How do you limit that right. if you have a, spe a second special counsel? How do you prevent it from being Gr like Mueller, who seems to have no type of uh, leash on him no. whatsoever? I actually agree with you, Liz. I don't like special counsels at all. I wish we didn't have to have them. But you tell me, in this situation, I see no other remedy. You tell me how the FBI is going to investigate themselves, how we're going to actually get answers for the American people. I see no other remedy. Here's the parameters I would put in place. A definite period of time. You have a certain amount of time to figure this out and recommend prosecution if that's, in, in fact, what's warranted. And then I would pick someone outside the swamp. I wouldn't pick a, someone from, a lawyer from here in D.C. or New York. I'd pick some retired federal judge from Oklahoma or Iowa or somewhere in the middle of the country, respected retired federal judge, let that person, let he or she then run this investigation, limited amount of time, you go do it, come back with your report, and then we go from there. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.